Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Yuan and I make videos about life in Germany as an abroad student. As you can see, I'm on the floor today. My boyfriend started to work from home and he occupying the living room, aka the studio. So yep, I'm on the floor in the living room. Okay, first thing first. Thank you very much for supporting my first video. I didn't expect it to get 30,000 views. I was texting my friends and family and running around telling everyone I know that I got 30,000 views for my first video on YouTube. And I got a lot of sweet texts from you guys telling me how you enjoy the video and that's really really sweet. Thank you very much. So today videos, I'm gonna talk about behaviors that normal in Germany but kind of weird if you do that in Vietnam. Actually, I mentioned some of those behavior on my TikToks or Instagrams already, but because it's only like 30 or 1 minutes per video, it's very hard to explain. So today, we're gonna go to detail and I'm gonna explain to you why is it weird and... Yeah, hope we're gonna have fun. Let's go! So the first behavior that it took me a lot of time to get used to is that in Germany, people call each other by their first name as long as they are close and uh, we don't do that in Vietnam please don't do it for example when you see a 40 years old man here and he's pretty close to you you can just say hello Fabian don't do that in Vietnam unless you're 100% sure that that person is younger than you otherwise you always have to put a horrific in front of their name like uh, auntie, uncle, grandma, grandpa, big sisters. Otherwise, it would be extremely dis disrespectful if you just call them by their name. That is why when I first came to Germany and my German boyfriend's mom just kept telling me to call her by her name, I have a hard time getting used to it. She was just like, woman, Rian, call me by my name, just me. We're close to each other already. Just call me Jasmine. And whereas, I was like, you are the same age with my mom. I have to call you Aunt Jasmine. But it's even weirder for calling someone who is not related to you Aunt over here. So yeah, after some times I get used to it. But at the beginning, it just sounds super disrespectful for me to call older people by just their name. Addressing someone correctly is very important in Vietnam. That's why when you first met someone in Vietnam, the first question you're gonna ask them normally is how old are you? So that you're gonna know if they are older or younger than you or if they are at the same age with your mom or something so that you can address them correctly. And one of the things I find pretty funny is that in Germany, when, you, when they ask you how old are you, you're gonna say like I'm 20, I'm 23 but in Vietnam, normally we're gonna say our year of birth like I'm 90, I'm 88, I'm 94 that confused a lot of foreigners, especially my German boyfriend because when I introduce him to my friends or to my family I'm gonna say this is my German boyfriend and he's 85, that's not his real age and he's gonna be like, I'm not 85. Am I look like an 85 for you? <laughs> yeah, honestly, I don't know why we do it, but I have a theory. I think that calculating the age in Vietnam could be quite complicated and it could be different from person to person. Especially the older people will calculate also the month that you were in your mom's belly as one year. I know it was nine months, but they would say one year, I don't know why. So, because you were alive at that time already, you were on earth already. So they will calculate that into your age. For example, if you are 15 in Germany, you're gonna be 16 in Vietnam with that type, kind of calculation. So it's kind of confusing, you know, when someone asks me how old are you and I said 25. Some of them will ask me back, so is it calculating also the year you're in your mom's belly or not? Or is it the western style? So sometimes it's, it's just hard to know that who's older. So we just say our year of birth and there's no calculation needed. So the second thing I want to talk about is that in Germany, when you met your family or your friends, normally you're gonna give them a hug for greeting. In Vietnam, we don't do that. Like, we are very awkward when it comes to body contact. So most of the time, when you meet your family or your friends, you do this. Don't even touch each other. 
And in my opinion, it's kind of sad. And also because I'm not used to hugging people for greeting, it's kind of confusing when I first came here because when I saw someone who's like my boyfriend's friend, I don't know what to do because in Vietnam it would just be like. But here, it's different, right? So I should I I'm, I had to choose between handshake or hugging them, and the thing is, how should I hug them? Like very tight or just like awkwardly touch a little bit? Oh, I don't know. It it's always making me freaking out. I still don't know. Okay, number three is about how much Germans love to have a tan skin compared to us Vietnamese. Us Vietnamese would love to have a lighter, paler, or whiter skin. You know, it started to be sunny in Germany, and when you go to the park, it's very easy to spot ladies lying around on their bikinis to have a to to have a tan skin under the sun. When it's sunny to Vietnam, you're gonna see me going out covering by sun protection so that no sun can touch me. And to prove my point, I would like to show you this. This is a postcard we bought in Vietnam of Vietnamese at the beach. We have a hat, I don't know, we have a mask, we have a shirt to cover all of our hands and upper part, a long trouser, socks and of course gloves i always go out with gloves in vietnam so no sun can get into our beautiful skin and um of course it's kind of a joke but i saw people like this in the picture in vietnam already and i would do the same the reason is it's pretty hot in vietnam it's like it could go up to 45 degree in the summer the sun is burning like literally burning so you gotta make sure you have to protect your skin as well. My German boyfriend, when he first came to Vietnam, he didn't know that it is that hot. So when he see the sun all the time, he was like, yeah, get some tan before going back to Germany. First day going out, he's going home and he was totally burned. Had to take care of him. So, yep, don't do that. I mean, it looked tempting to get some suntan in Vietnam, but you gotta be very careful. It could be very painful after getting sunburned. When I was in Vietnam, my parents always tell me to make sure to go out with a big thick coat, a big head, a mask, gloves to make sure no sun can touch me. Because as they said, no man would want you if you are too tan. Fire man now. Fire German man. He like tan people. Oh, the next thing I want to talk about is how much you German love walking and how much you don't mind walking at all. It's like you can walk 5 kilometers from A to B and you like it. <laughs> and the thing is, I was living in Hanoi. It is a very big and crowded city in Vietnam. And I think it's very, very hard to walk 5 kilometers around that city by foot because for example the sidewalk is always crowded with motorbikes, parked motorbikes, vendors and stuff it's not very pedestrian friendly so if you want to walk around it's not a very pleasant experience if you walk by foot also we have motorbikes it's pretty convenient if you want to go short distance so normally I just hop onto the motorbikes and then drive to wherever I want that's why my leg didn't get trained for walking and when I come here and when my German boyfriend asked me to walk from here to here, which is more than one kilometer, I just fall down to the ground. My German boyfriend likes to walk and when he goes to Vietnam, he keeps his hobby. But when he starts walking around the street in Hanoi, tons of taxi driver or motorbike taxi just stop and ask him if he wants to have a ride. And he's always answer with, no, 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 thank you. I'm gonna walk and then those taxi driver will look at him like an alien and then they will say it's gonna be two kilometers how could you walk that far because that the thought of walking on the street in Hanoi for two kilometers under the hot sun and a crowded street sound pretty impossible so I think that's it for today thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video bye bye